Hey, I'm uh, Hiroki from Yamataka Sonic Titan, uh, and this is my rig. Uh, so, uh, I guess we'll start off with this beast. This is my <laughs> uh, Dimebag Daryl Signature Razorback 7-string guitar. And uh, it is as absurd as you can see. Uh, I got 7-strings, I used a Dario 10s. Um, and 707s is just kind of what came stock with them. Um, it was kind of a funny story. I was on like a Toronto gear, you know, secondhand gear page, and uh, it just kind of popped up. I was like, hey guys, what if I use this guitar? And everyone is about like, hey, do you use this? So I bought one for like 400 bucks. It was super cheap, uh, but it had a cracked neck in the back. And so I played that for a bit, but it kept going out of tune. It was kind of shitty. Uh, so I found another one. So this is actually a much better quality. Uh, one which I picked up for about 1300 used, uh, and that's what I've been using for touring, uh, North America anyway. Definitely for my solos, I, I try and lift like Dimebag Daryl, um, other solos like Glenn Tipton and stuff like that. Um, admittedly, it's not so much the uh, <laughs> Dimebag Daryl as it is just the shape and the color, it really fits. Uh, the band, obviously, um, with all the makeup and the monochromatic stuff. So, um, no, I mean, I love Dimebag Daryl, he's an awesome shredder. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to play his big honky guitar and, you know, occasionally just like spike my bassist in the side with my guitar and be like, ah, play it tough. Typically, I just, uh, I don't have any roll off, like I just keep it full on and uh, volume full on. I use, uh, to attenuate, attenuate volume, I use this sort of as a guitar volume knob actually with my volume pedal, which works for, uh, we have a song, Dawine. Um, which we immediately go from dirt into Dawine, and so as soon as like we get into that like heavy stomp, I just roll this off and get like a nice light crunch as opposed to full full gain, and that's kind of what I use it for a lot of the time. And also to just kind of you know, it has a bit of a hum on stage, so I usually just like pump this off to get total quiet on stage. So here's the Weeping Demon Wah, um, which is actually pretty really awesome. Um, my favorite part is that you can have an instant off. So it's got a latch system that's momentary. So as soon as I put it on, it plays, let go, it's off. None of this like accidentally missing the click and then you're like, oh, I wonder why my uh, guitar tone sounds so tinny. It's like, it's you always know that it's off, which is great. And it also has a really weird sweep that almost sounds like, um, like a high pass filter or something like that going down. So it sounds pretty cool um, and not like your usual wah. So it's not like a classic wah. Uh, Digitech Whammy does, you know, the dime bag zero best. I use this uh, for glitch sounds. I have it permanently on the hold function. So it just goes brrr, you know, if you think of like Mel Banana or something like that, where you have these kind of super glitchy sounds, uh, just use standard DD5. Uh, the Shoegazer is great. Um, I usually use the Torn Peaker a lot. Um, and then I have uh, Always On is my compressor, which I think people have strong opinions about, but I actually really love the squishy tone, and I love how good it's sustained, and it gives me this super fuzz distortion kind of tone that I love, um, and it's a great compressor overall. Uh, noise gate, which then goes into my volume pedal, which I was talking about before, uh, which then goes into the DL4. Uh, which I have three settings on. I have this as a chorus, and then these as two sort of alternating uh, heavier delay for solos, and then kind of lighter ones when I'm doing finger picking stuff. Um, aside from that, I have an Acapulco Gold, which is great, and I used that for set five when we all had Fender backlines, uh, and I needed some high gain. And then the Holy Grail for reverb as well when we were at South by. But otherwise, I have a I have a reverb tank in the amp that I use on stage. The one that gets the most use, probably between like the real nasty fuzz of the shoegazer, which is awesome. Um, it's, it's just that classic grimy 90s kind of fuzz tone. And then I use the I love using the glitch stuff. Like I really want to use a lot more of this on the next record because it just sounds so crazy. Uh, and there's a, I think there's a lot of potential and cool stuff that you can do with hold functions that I don't think a lot of guitarists are necessarily exploring all the time. I mean, aside from that, you know, uh, the wah is excellent and uh, definitely <laughs> it's my go-to wah if I ever want a wah for, for anything. In a pinch, I'll grab um, the, the big stubbies, uh, three millimeter, sometimes they use two millimeter, um, but I went on eBay <laughs> and I realized that there's these discount uh, Alice picks that you can buy for like four bucks on eBay and you get 40 picks in a little plastic container. 
and I'm like, why would I, you know, use store brand that costs three bucks for like five picks when I can buy 40 for three bucks? Uh, and they work perfectly good. Yeah, they're totally great. They have variety of sizes, so, you know, so I've been messing around a lot with various uh, millimeters. I've got one millimeters to three millimeters in here, and uh, I kind of just use them depending on what I feel like in the day. It's kind of a funny story. Uh, halfway through the tour in Quebec City, uh, my regular amp is a Mesa Express 525. Uh, it broke, sadly. Uh, so I ran back to Long McQuaid. Thankfully, we were in Toronto the next day. So we went back home, uh, grabbed a Triple Crown Mesa from Long McQuaid, and I've been using that for the rest of the tour. It is a fantastic amp. Um, you know, my 525 doesn't really compare, to be perfectly honest. It's a great amp, great little combo, but uh, this one's clearly better. It's also $3,000. Uh, so, yeah, no, it's a fantastic amp, um, and it has a great solo function as well, which I use to boost my solos, uh, which doesn't necessarily exist on the 525. It just has a contour knob, which doesn't give you as much of a boost, but it kind of serves the same purpose. Um, yeah, yeah, this is my gear. Um, Check us out on ytstlabs.com, uh, like our Facebook page, check us out on Instagram, uh, 